Welcome each and every one of you to episode number 18, I guess, uh, on my run through Bloodborne. Yeah. We, last time we finished uh, Castle Canehurst, the optional area. Now we're progressing further in the main storyline. I have farmed up a little bit. Uh, and uh, upgraded this weapon I just got from uh, the badge that I uh, got at the end of Castle Canus from the Queen. So, <coughs> uh, in between those episodes, I also have beaten the Bloody Crow of Canehurst. And right now I think I'm just going to do a little rundown of which strategy showed up to be like uh, a good one. Like a strategy that actually worked against the Bloody Crow of Canehurst. Just uh, if you are having trouble with dealing with that thing. I don't say that it gets easy if you use that strategy because I still... It, it took me still 79 tries to beat that uh, enemy. Which is insane because of the one shot potential that the K uh, Bloody Crow of Canis offers. So, wo the Bloody Crow of Canis basically switches uh, weapons uh, or, or switches uh, fighting styles. Uh, the two fighting styles that the Bloody Crow of Canis. Uh, first of all, the Bloody Crow of Canis is like a hunter enemy, he's uh, do doing stuff that. Uh, you can do yourself too, and uh, the Bloody Crow of Canis actually uses this sword I just using right now. And uh, it swaps between using the sword one-handed and the pistol in the other hand, and uh, using the sword two-handed. Um, yeah, this uh, bridge actually is a pretty annoying place. Um, what I'm going to do to pass that bridge is I'm just going to rush down. I'm just running past all those guys because they keep respawning until I kill the bell winging woman inside of he here. So basically what I want to do is I want to go here and kill this bitch and now I'm good to go. Uh, those guys don't respawn anymore. Therefore, I can kill them now, and they keep, th they stay dead. Um, so back to the Black Crow Canist. Um, the Black Crow Canist actually, I think uh, the hardest part about the Black Crow Canist is when the Black Crow Canist uses the pistol in the sidearm, as the pistol offers a lot of one-shot potential by parrying you, and also the pistol just does a lot of damage. So it's actually difficult to deal with the Blade Crow of Canis as long as uh, she doesn't use the sword two-handed. Because while the pistol is out you can't do any light attacks without having to fear that you will just uh, die by being one-shot. Uh, I think I'm not going to kill those guys because they are Dallas there and I don't want to get killed by that. Killing this guy just now. So, what you want to do to fight the uh, in the fight with the Bloody Crow of Canis when the crow uses the sword one-handed and the pistol in the side uh, at the side arm, you want uh, to don't use any light attacks, because yeah. You can get parried and then you can die. You can even, even when you hit one light attack, you can combo off that because the Bloody Crow of Candles can parry you in between your hits of a combo. Even with a fast weapon. So, there's a little trick that I kind of found out. I guess there were people uh, out there in the world who already knew about that trick, but uh, still. This trick is like... Um, I am uh, using heavy slashes, well spaced. I think it's actually the easiest if you do it uh, with a weapon with more range. 
but it also was possible with the saw cleaver in the not extended version so so what you want to do is you want to wait for the crow to walk towards you and then you want to uh, use your heavy slashes well spaced you can see it in the video where I beat the crow I'm not talking about it that's the reason why I'm talking about it now a well spaced heavy slash will uh, make the crow like just walk into your heavy slashes that's like a really good way to fight that that enemy Yeah, in this place you always want to go for those spellwing women first as they uh, keep uh, summoning uh, your no the normal enemies in this uh, this uh, at this part of the game. When the bloody crow can just uh, swaps uh, to the stance where it uses the Chicago, that's the name of the sword, two-handed. Um, then you can just go in with uh, light attacks and combo and stuff like that as uh, the pistol is the reason why you can't uh oh that was that oh, i don't know the pistol is the reason you can't use uh, light attacks in the first place therefore when the blood crow can just use the sword too and it sh uh, the crow does more damage with the uh, normal hits but at the same time, it loses a lot of one-shot potential by parrying you, and uh, yeah, you can basically go ham. Uh, it's way easier to fight the crow when uh, it uses the sword two-handed. But still, be wary of those slashes. You can die pretty fast. So that's basically the strategy you want. Uh, you want one one. You want to be uh, wary of uh, the fact that the blood crow can just, uh, will try to shoot you. Uh, after doing a dodge, so when the crow dodges to the side or uh, in any direction while being at mid-range, uh, you most uh, the crow most likely is going to shoot at you. Therefore, be ready to dodge when you see the crow dodging, like doing a quick step in some uh, any direction. You wanna be ready to dodge yourself. Yeah, you see amygdalas all over the place. <laughs> I'm actually not sure where I have to go right now. Also, the crow, uh, at some point the crow will start throwing numbing mist at you, which uh, will stop you from healing up. So, you can't use your blood fights while uh, that uh, mist is around you. So, you want to avoid that, but that's not hard, it's pretty easy to dodge. Um... And one time the Bloody Crow Canus will use uh, Blood Vial to heal himself up a bit. Oh fuck, oh fuck. I was trapped. I think uh, right here I can maybe use the Amygdala to use that laser beam to actually kill those enemies. Yeah, it worked out. I think I killed a bunch of them. So. Yeah, you also can stop the Bloody Crow of Canis from healing by shooting at it, uh, which I did. Uh, but actually I don't think that uh, that is uh, necessary to beat the crow as I think the crow only uses one blood vial throughout the fight. So if you really want to wash the crow down you, wa uh, you want to keep pressuring the crow when uh, you see the crow dashing back after you uh, uh, have beaten the crow until the point that uh, there's like less than half l less than 50% of the health the, the crow will only heal itself up when it goes under 50% health so if you get the crow under 50% health and you want to rush the crow down you might want to just uh, keep pressuring oh fuck 
I just died real quick. Yeah, this uh, enemies here just respawn all, uh, again and again. So if you want to rush down the crow, you want to keep pressuring after getting the crow under 50%. Uh, the gun is for that a really good tool, as, uh, especially because a uh, well-timed uh, gunshot at uh, the crow while the crow is trying to use a blood wire will cause the crow to... Uh, yeah, uh, be staggered like so you can do a vicious attack. Oh fuck! Oh man, I almost died. I almost died. Still might die. Heating up a bit. Yeah, another thing to mention: you might just uh, saw it already. Uh, I'm streaming right now. I'm not only recording the YouTube video. I'm uh, I'm also streaming, and I'm going to do that a lot in the future. So, if you enjoy the videos, uh, you also can check out my uh, Twitch account. Uh, the name is uh, Smexy Flexy. Then uh, this uh, house it called uh, under 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 something. Uh, I will write it down in the description and then uh, Gunsru. So it's Maxi Flexi Gunsru with the uh, this one symbol that I can't uh, recall the name of in between Maxi Flexi and Gunsru. So you might just check my um, Twitch account out if you like. Uh, yeah, I'm streaming right now and... Oh, okay, now he's gone. And I will do that in the future more often, like... I think I will uh, stream it all the time I'm doing a YouTube video. And also just when I'm playing casually. Like, also, my YouTube videos are also casually, actually. So... Yeah. Right now I'm looking for the enemies. Sometimes they jump down here, but looks like they don't want to do that right now. Oh fuck, I fucked up the parry timing. Like that, good. Uh, yeah, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to like a little secret spot just now. Uh, once we can kill the bearing women right here, so there aren't so many enemies to respawn. And also, he's like. Uh, prison cell which we only can access to from above from here and there's a key upper cathedral key and with that upper cathedral key we can open the door to a little extra optional area with actually two bosses therefore that's pretty cool and now we have to be careful there are two big guys And I fucked up the vicious attack. I think you can actually cheese them right here. Because they aren't able to get uh, to enter the cell, I think. And here's one guy that tries to shoot you while you're in the fight. Uh, oh no, the other big guy was the one I killed uh, up there. When you access here from here, you won't be... Uh, you will have to fight two of those big guys while the guy in the wheelchair is trying to shoot you. Uh, tiny Tony Tours, what's that? Is that a weapon? The Tony Tours is this thing. That's a weapon. 
What's the tiny Tony Truss? I mean, I got that item last time too, but I think I haven't really uh, thought about it while picking it up. Is that a sidearm? No. I don't know. I can't find the tiny Tony Truss. Nope, I don't know. I have no idea where that item is and what it does. So I'm just going to check out this room just to make sure I haven't uh, left anything. Yeah, the amygdala's here all over the place. Uh, try to interfere with you. As you just could see, like the one that shoots lasers. Really sick. Uh, those lasers deal a lot of damage actually, as you might have thought. Oh, I think... The guys just jumped down there and died? Or at least some of them. I actually like this weapon a lot, the Chicago. I'm still a little bit afraid of using the transformed version. That would be this. Now I'm dealing more damage, but I'm also just taking damage myself over time and also I take a little bit damage every time I strike. I, I can show you that for a moment. I'm using that now. and I, First of all, I just fucked up because I ex accidentally did a transformation attack. Yeah, I'm really not uh, too comfortable uh, with using the Chicago two-handed because uh, yeah, I'm dealing a lot of damage to myself and at the same time I don't feel like uh, I play more efficiently with that. I think it has more damage potential, the attacks deal more damage and stuff like that, but I'm really not sure if that's worth it. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, this amygdala right there. We're really pain in the ass with that laser beam. I think... I'm not sure. I think I had a little bit damage just now. But it might be possible that this amygdala kills me even when I'm full life. <laughs> I got another interesting weapon that I uh, want to use uh, soon. I, for once I got the um, Evelyn, you just see there, in my side in my side arm, like the pistol. Evelyn, also a pretty cool item. Uh, yeah, it uh, basically works like the usual gun, but I think the damage doesn't scale down too much uh, at ranges. Like, you know, uh, if you hit an enemy that's far away from you with the pistol, you deal less damage to it. And I think uh, the damage reduction on uh, higher ranges isn't that hard on the Avalon. And also the Avalon uh, got a really good scaling with Blood Tinge. So I get a lot of damage out of uh, B uh, having leveled up my Blood Tinge, which I did. Yeah, also another thing, I leveled up my character a little bit. Especially while I was fighting the bloody crew of Kanehurst, I just... Uh, yeah, I always always killed the enemies in front of the cas uh, the cathedral, and as I told, I uh, it took me 79 tries to beat the crow of Cain, the bloody crow of Cain. So therefore, I had a lot of blood echoes that I spent in my invested in my character, so my character gets a bit stronger in order to beat the bloody crow of Cainhurst. I think that was uh, actually pretty okay, as uh, my character was kind of under leveled until uh, that point so right now we can take a look at him uh, he's now level 61 
I think that's uh, a good level for this uh, area. I don't. I think I'm maybe a little bit over leveled with that, but not too much. So now I'm running down here, hoping for the amygdala to not shoot another. Ah, okay, good, 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 good. So. I think now we get a new lantern, therefore we don't have to go through all this again and again. And we can see right there uh, the other lantern. Uh, you might remember the place where the sect guys took us where we have beaten Dark Beast Paul. That's uh, the place where the lantern was. Oh, I accidentally, ah. Uh, can we look at that? Ah, uh, no, the, ah, uh, there. There was the lantern. So I got some extra bullets now. Not intentional, but who cares? More bullets are always good. <coughs> So what we would want to do here is uh, this place is can be kind of hard. There are a bunch of enemies down there. You can see them spawning just now. And there are guys with pistols here as well as dogs down there. So here's this guy. We want to kill this guy first. Then we want to kill the dogs. If possible with a plunge attack. And then the other guys there. I really don't like to fight them just... Uh, like fan square I uh, would say I, I like, really don't like to fight them at all I usually just run past them as they are really annoying to deal with and really easy to run out just taking those blood rights right there now I keep dodging because I'm scared of uh, bullets we're invincible while opening doors And here only those guys follow us. The frame rate is dropping. So... Yeah, now, I guess now you remember this place. So, here we have something really tricky going on just now. You see that guy there? There are three hunter enemies right here. So, three of them is actually really hard. What we want to do is we want to use a little trick. Because one of them is down here. Once you enter the fight, all of them will come sooner or later. But uh, the one down here we can actually kind of cheese. And we want to do that. Because fighting three of those guys at the same time is really fucking hard. So there's that guy. I actually can't really see well because right now the sun is shining from outside and uh, that's making some kind of reflection on the TV screen. What we want to do is we want to throw pebbles at them, uh, which I haven't equipped right now. So just doing that now. So that guy is using the tonitus or, or s something like a lightning thing. So oh, they are the other guys. So this is going to be really hard just now. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> These guys uh, a huge pain in the ass. Um, I'm really not sure if I'm going to beat all of them on this one. Mm, I guess I will do it. So, yeah, from now on we can, we just start up uh, here. So, what we want to do is, oh, there's one of those guys. Just going to kill that one really quick. So, we got bloodstone chunks, which is nice. 
so what we want to do here is we just want to go j j we just do what we have done last time but this time we don't have to pick up the blood vials which is nice picking up the quicksilver bullets dropping down on the dogs doing another hit on the dogs missing one of the dogs killing the other dog now we just run here get there and we're here so those two guys always follow us but they aren't a big threat so I'll try it again to go here this time I'm not throwing a pebble at that guy I think I will just uh, try to backstab him. But first I take my uh, blood echoes back. So I really can see him well because the reflection of the sun on my screen fucks with me pretty bad right now. I'm just using my uh, weapon like that because more damage oh fuck oh shit wow that guy surprised me yeah, these guys are really tough enemies. I mean, it kind of reminds me of the fight with the Shadows of Yharnam, but uh, it's even harder because the Shadows of Yharnam kind of like to walk mostly slowly around the uh, place, while those guys right here, yeah, they just assault you, they go really ham on you, and uh, yeah, each of them alone can take you out pretty fast if you uh, manage to fuck up somehow so I guess there are three of them one of them is using uh, the uh, twisted uh, like how is it called the the the, the ward that you can choose as a weapon as the beginning but he mostly uses this in the whip form so he got a lot of range on his usual attacks and uh, the side arm he uses something to do some kind of lightning spell I guess as you could see then there's one guy who's using a pistol and uh, some kind of claws I think those claws they uh, he mostly do it with them that is like a, a skill based weapon I think he doesn't do too much damage but he's really fast and could, can do really long combos and the last one is using the cannon which can deal a lot of damage that's like his pistol and with the cannon you can deal massive damage to one target and in the other arm I think he uses the pile driver or something like that which is also a strength based weapon so uh, he's able to dish out a lot of damage with really few hit, a few hits So we're trying this again, but this time we want to actually backstab that guy, like that. Okay, and he, this guy also got a flamethrower. We just learned something. And we're dead. I uh, attempted to parry that guy. But I'm actually not sure if you can parry the spell, but I also didn't thought that the spell will one-shot me just straight away. But you saw, we almost have killed one of them. If one of them is down, the fight gets a lot of easier, especially because the first one we will take out is the one that used this lightning spell, which can just decimate us. I mean, all of them can do a lot of damage, but uh, that spell... That can get, catch you off guard pretty easily. Having that guy uh, killed will uh, make the whole fight a lot easier. 
Obviously, having killed e any one of them will make the fight a lot of easier. Well, one thing that's obviously different from the fight with the Shadows of Yanum uh, is that uh, those guys uh, doesn't doesn't get stronger over the fight, th so we don't have to worry about that. They, uh, if we kill one of them, it just gets easier. You might wonder why I'm walking slow right here. If we walk too fast, uh, there's a chance that the guy in the middle of the room that's the one with the claws that he will uh, notice us and then come after us then we just if that's the case we just lost uh, the chance of surprising them so the vicious attack well, now I'm just trying to take my stuff And I'm dead because I accidentally did a transformation attack again. I really hope that my stuff now is a little bit uh, more like down the stairs because uh, I want to pick them up before I fight them actually. But that wasn't a possibility just now as the, my blood echoes were just in front of that guy. Which is pretty annoying. Yeah, I'm sorry if you're a little bit bored uh, of me dying to those hunter guys. Uh, I mean, you just saw how I uh, was beaten by the bloody crew of Kanos again and again. But hey. I really want to, like, take all the items and stuff like that. So... I want to kill those guys just for the items that they offer me, even though I most likely won't use the items uh, anyway. But uh, if you have followed the series so far, you know me by now and you should know that uh, I won't let go of any items just because I won't use them. So where are my blood echoes now? I have the feeling they are again in front of that guy. Yeah. But this time I can uh, take them just now. So I have taken out one of them. That's something I guess. So I'm picking up the madman's knowledge that that guy dropped. And now I think I'm going to carry the fight uh, up here. So it's easy to get the blood echoes if I die now. So that that guy uses the not the pile driver but the cannon and the rifle spear. So the rifle spear doesn't uh, dish out too much damage in one hit, but I have to really be wary about the cannon. Somehow the uh, third guy just doesn't interfere right now, which is which is nice, I guess. So he has this cannon out now. This is going to be really dangerous. He took one shot. I'm not sure if he is, uh, he uh, if if he spawned to any like uh, to ammunition. How real players are. Uh, but if he's bound to ammunition, he maybe isn't uh, able to use the cannon a second time. As the cannon uh, consumes 12 bullets each shot. Which is a crazy amount of uh, bullets. Um, I'm... I really... Oh shit! Yeah. 
that could have easily one-shotted us, I guess. I'm, I'm, I really think the cannon uh, will one-shot us if we get hit by that. Oh fuck, oh fuck. I have to heal up, I have to heal up. Oh, I'm dead. Fuck. But hey, we got one. Maybe we can uh, put off something like a uh, backstab again on now another one of them. Oh yeah, I, I know how I, will to, uh, how I will approach them now. Um, there's like a secret passage that I unlocked when I was in this area before, when I have beaten Dark Beast Paul. And right now I can just uh, get around them. So I could just leave them in the cathedral, but you know I'm not going to do that. But what wha what I can do then is I can enter the cathedral from uh, the other entrance, uh, which allow me to uh, backstab the guy with the cannon. So I'm going to do that now. So what I'm doing is I'm going to the lower levels of the cathedral. There I will just clear out. I think there are some no more enemies, some new enemies that we haven't met so far. Once they are dead I will leave the cathedral from there on and I will come back from the entrance right there where I will be able to backstab the guy with the cannon. So at least that's my plan. First of all, I'm going to the lowest stage, which is where this thing is. Uh, it's like, this is one of those, uh, he, I think those enemies just work like werewolves, but they look a little bit different. I think they have like more limbs coming out of them in each direction, and I'm not sure if they have a wolf head anymore. You can sneak up on them and try to backstab them. Yeah, they are basically wolves, but a little bit tougher, so... But they really, uh, they really fight like the wolves. Beast blood pellet. Ah, okay. Those things I can we can use to enhance our attack damage for a while. Uh, I'm just uh, going to take out the torch to investigate this area. So there is a new item that wasn't there before when we were here the last time. Ah yeah, g uh, ah, right. Now those sack dudes are dead all over the place and they got upgrade items, each of them. So this will lead to us having a lot of upgrade items to get our weapons strong, which is nice. So where we want to go next is uh, one level higher. Um, that was where we went to uh, get to Dark Beast Paul last time. Oh shit! I have my pistol isn't out right now. That's a huge fuck up uh, at my side. Oh shit! He fooled me. I'm trying to fight him in this uh, corridor, I guess. Yeah. I kind of thought that uh, he can't enter the door right there because he was standing still for so uh, such a long time, but yeah, actually he fooled me. We want to be careful right here because I really don't know wh how the enemies were positioned right now. <coughs> so.
So I'm not sure if there are any more enemies right here right now. Doesn't look like it. So use this guy, more bloodstone chunks. Uh I think we don't wanna go here right now because yeah Dark is beaten already, so no point in doing that. <laughs> So we have opened this door already, that's what I was talking about. You only can open the door from this side, but we did that when we were here for Dark Beast Paul the first time. Now we can leave the building from here and get into the building from the front side. So we want to be careful actually because here are a lot of new enemies that we haven't met so far which can kill you quite fast. They look more scary than they are. See that thing? The thing with those enemies is they are really really slow. Yeah, as you can see, they aren't too dangerous, but if they can get a clear hit on you, you might just die really fucking fast. Therefore, don't take them too easy. So, what we're going now, yeah, now we can go in the cathedral from here. There's this guy. And we can backstep him, or, or not. And I'm dead. Wow, that was really stupid of me. I really thought I can just uh, backstep him, and I'm pretty sure that is a possibility, but I, I just have to hit him at the right angle, because uh, I wanted to get too close to him before charging up my attack. That was pretty dumb for me. So we're going there real quick. Wow, those dogs are almost killed me. I'm actually again running low on blood vials. But uh, yeah, at the same time I have, uh, well, a lot of blood echoes right now. I might just buy some blood vials from that. <laughs> Not quite sure about that actually, but yeah, we'll see. So, if possible, I might just uh, skip that enemy, let him walk to the side right there, don't want to waste too much time with him, or blood rights or anything, and now I'm going here. So there will be that one uh, pile of bodies, or what, what, what uh, I don't know what that is actually, it's like a uh, wooden thing a ring or something like that and there's a lot of uh, bodies in it and uh yeah 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 okay I don't have a lot of blood echoes. You just saw how a clear hit of those things can uh, kill you pretty easy. I was a little bit... Um, yeah, I I played that really bad right now. I think I'm just going, uh, giving it another shot. Trying to uh, get those guys in the cathedral. 
man, I just lost like 70,000 blood vials, uh, blood echoes or something like that. That's uh, really unfortunate, actually. I thought just, uh, uh, I just thought, thought that um, it might be a good idea to use the sock lever against those guys, or like the saw spear. Um, but actually it wasn't as they, it, it felt like they aren't staggered as much as they, uh, that enemy was when I used my Chicago. So... Going back down here and to the side. I actually might just uh, start a side series with this character where I, where I do the chalice dungeons because I have a lot of fun doing this and um, I kind of feel like uh, I will be through this game soon and actually uh, I would like to enjoy this character a little bit more doing a little bit more videos and stuff like that so I might just uh, start a side series with the chalice dungeons the first uh, episodes will be pretty boring as the first chalice dungeons are really easy for over leveled character like this I won't do the root dungeons oh shit I just uh, dodged that incorrectly. So, got that guy. Only nine blood fights left. So this will be our last attempt on those guys for this episode. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Oh shit, yeah, somehow uh, I uh, I have to get uh, used to his weapon, I don't know, uh, I'm really bad at dodging it right now. So I guess uh, this was it for this episode, next episode we will obviously beat the uh, two uh, hunters that were left in the cathedral. And then we will progress to the next boss I guess. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, also, if you want to watch the stream and, uh, yeah, go ahead uh, to my Twitch, uh, it's makes a flexi Um, yeah, I hope you had fun. I had fun. See you in the next episode.